Okay, so we're here with Gert at the Erika Synth stand. Hey man, how are you? Hey, good, good, good. Great. Thank you for having us. You're <laughs> very welcome. Uh, yeah, what have you got to show at Bristol this year? We have uh, plenty of prototypes that are going to be uh, announced uh, anytime soon. For instance, uh, when we uh, look on modular um, setup, so we already have out uh, resonant filter bank and filter bank expander. So, which is uh, uh, analog filter bank with digital control over bands. Then, uh, what we have in uh, uh, cooking in um, in Erika Synth is Perkwan's voice module, uh, which takes uh, a single uh, voice from uh, Perkwan's drum machine. Uh, it has all algorithms that Perkwan's drum machine has uh, put in one voice, so you can. Uh, you can select uh, what algorithm uh, you want uh, to to run. You have all parameters. You can save patches, so meaning that uh, interface of the module is scanned, and um, and um, you can save your uh, favorite drum sounds as a, as a preset. Uh, it has same architecture as the uh, Perkwan's voice, so it has digital sound engine with uh, analog filter, analog overdrive. Uh, different filter modes, like low pass, uh, band pass, and high pass filter. Uh, yeah, and as I told you, you can save a uh, patch with it. Great. Uh, then uh, we're uh, continuing our uh, line of educational synthesizers with Bullfrog. So we have a prototype of Bullfrog drum machine, which is sample based. Uh, drum machine, so it takes uh, seven samples. User can upload it. So uh, his or her own samples. Uh, there are 16 sample slots and uh, very nice uh, 909 style, like classical drum machine uh, interface for uh, pattern programming. Yeah, looks um, beautiful. Yeah, and uh, so this one is uh, early prototype. Some uh, some things do not work there, but we uh, after we complete steam pipe. Uh, our uh, physical modeling synthesizer we announced uh, some time ago, but we are now in the final lane of uh, of um, making it happen. Um, so we are doing final tweaks in uh, in uh, uh, firmware and user interface, and also we are working on uh, factory presets. So it will come with uh, uh, plenty of factory presets from different sound designers. Great. But uh, the uh, most uh, important announcement here is uh, DAY uh, Bracket Brigade Delay uh, module, which we developed uh, in uh, our uh, Moritz Klein Instruments Erika Sins Educational Series. So this is another addition to uh, modules intended to encourage people go into uh, electronics engineering. Uh, the BBD required uh, a lot of uh, research from uh, Moritz Klein, which almost went into fundamental physics research <laughs> because he bought original white papers on uh, BBD uh, and BBD chips because uh, when he started developing schematics, there were some, uh, some uh, questions that arise uh, it, where he could not explain how, how the BBD actually works. And, uh, and uh, this module kind of uh, went against conventional wisdom about, about BBDs. Because people think that BBDs pass uh, charge uh, in, uh, over the stages of BBD, but it appears that it passes deficit of charge, and then it works. Uh, my Highly uh, complex stuff. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, but that's the beauty of our uh, educational DIY series because uh, because uh, we really want people to go deeper into electronics engineering, and that's a, a beauty of this uh, um, Eurorack DIY thing that uh, you can connect uh, engineering to something beautiful, which is music at the end you know yeah and it's really satisfying as yes. well to, to not only learn how to make them but um 
yeah, the process of doing it is really satisfying yeah, as well for, for, for people who are new. Yeah. So and uh, it's also a cheaper option as well, isn't it? When you have a kit, it's often a cheaper yeah, exactly. option than, we than the We actually finished. consciously uh, keep the uh, price of uh, educational DIY kits comparably low. So this will be 70 euros uh, full kit. Uh, it comes with extensive uh, user manual of uh, 60 or 70 pages that explains step by step how the thing works. And uh, it has some quite unique features um, compared to, uh, like, it has obvious features which is time, uh, time CV uh, attenuator, uh, feedback, uh, input gain, dry wet signal, uh, dry wet uh, adjustment, long short selection of, uh, of uh, BBD time, and uh, distinct feature is inhibit. Uh, CV, which basically, when CV is applied to that uh, input, it uh, stops uh, or holds the uh, signal in BBD line. So basically, it stops the delay for uh, for short period of time. It's not like switching back to dry, but it holds the uh, the uh, uh, processed signal itself. So uh, we can uh, we can take. A a little bit uh, yeah. listen on uh, on uh, how it actually sounds. Let's have a listen for yeah. sure. Yeah. For that, I need to put he headphones on. For it. And Go uh, for it. There is a bass line from uh, from Pico Voice running uh, into the BBD, so I'll do some tweaking there. uses a uh, circuit of uh, sample and hold to cancel out BBD clock noise. So we do not filter the uh, BBD clock uh, like uh, it's uh, normally done on uh, classical BBDs. But then you lose high, end, uh, high ends of, uh, of signal. So with this one, you do not lose. Of course, the noise will be still present there, but, uh, but it's much less pronounced than on... Uh, on uh, without cancelling it. Yeah, that's a really interesting resolution. Yeah. It's a really interesting resolution. So now this uh, inhibit CV thing. So as you hear, at certain, at certain beats, it just stops. Let's use sample and hold instead of uh, And how many educational kits do you have available? Excuse me? How many, how many educational kits do you have available now? Uh, at the moment we have 15 of those already, yes. And we can keep expanding the line of educational kits. Uh, so uh, we want to have a, a, a set of kits that can be in integrated in uh, curriculums in technical universities, uh, technical colleges, and so that these could be basis of actually learning electronics. So, yeah. And yeah. so, in terms of release, you said this is a, the bullfrog's a little way off. Uh, the bullfrog, yeah, we uh, we 
we will start developing uh, after we complete uh, steam pipe. So that's uh, closer to the uh, beginning of next year. Uh, BBD is out next Wednesday, so this is basically world's premiere of, uh, of the BBD module here. Brilliant. And um, pipe. And uh, steam pipe, uh, we expect it out uh, early November. So it's also coming soon. We were a bit late with development uh, because we announced it first uh, last year's Superboost. But, uh, but yeah, there were some, uh, some priorities uh, we, we had to solve. And, and then, uh, yeah, it's hey. soon to be out. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much for showing us. Good, yeah, really appreciate thank you, it. And thank you for coming over here. And uh, Bristol is always beautiful.